Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês do inglês do rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Hello, 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 guys, and welcome to another episode of English no Ikru Haju. Alexia, how are you doing? I'm fine today. What about you? I'm doing great. How are things in the marvelous city of Rio de Janeiro? Good, good. It's good around here. Warm weather. Nossa, warm weather. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, Alexia. I've spent <laughs> two years working on the TH with Alexia and still has... <laughs> Still has her moments. I got better, you have to admit it. Oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. Awesome. Um, mm -hmm. It's all good in Rio? All good in the neighborhood? All good around here. What about South Carolina? Yeah, nothing's changed. Same old, same old. <laughs> Do you know that <laughs> phrase? Same old, same old? Uh-huh. I think so. You already teach me. I already taught you. In the yeah, past. Yeah, that's, I made this mistake in purpose because that's what are we gonna talk today. Okay, good, good transition. One more thing, I made this mistake on purpose. We always on do purpose. things on purpose. Okay? Okay. Cool. So thank you, Alexia, for being my cobaya para sempre. <laughs> Forever and never say my honey. Na, 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 na. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Alexia, we're talking about talking in the past. So one of my... I <sighs> don't know how should I explain this diplomatically. So one of the most common mistakes the Brazilians make when speaking English is talking in the past, right? Have you, yes. Have you felt this difficulty um, speaking in the past in English? Yes, of course. Because it's the opposite that the way we do um, yeah, debatable, debatable. But talking in the past is difficult for a lot of reasons. First of all, normally when you're talking in the past, you're like telling a story, right? You're recounting an event. So it's not just like yes or no. It's normally a long form conversation, right? Yes, it is. And also when you're talking in the past, we have a lot of irregular verbs and several different verb tenses. So that can be difficult as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about because I know that you're going to be hard on me on this. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm never hard on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so I just want to focus on one small part of the past today. And like usual, when you're talking to me, we're talking about pronunciation. Okay? Okay. So the most common mistake that I hear Brazilians make when speaking in the past is adding the extra id sound to everything, right? So in your Brazilian brain, I'm not saying Just you... like walked, eat it. Exactly. Looked it. Exactly. So for some reason, I think this has a lot to do that Brazilians can read and write better than they can speak. But when most Brazilians see the ed automatically their brains think, oh, I need to say the id sound at the end, right? So just like you were saying, like, walk id, talk id, when in reality, it should just be walked, talked, right? Yes. Okay, Alexis, so let's try this. I will give you a verb in the present, and I want you to conjugate it in the past tense, just the simple past, okay? Uh-huh. Cool. Let's so, go. Talk. Talked. Perfect. Walk. Walked. Um, pick. Picked. Nice. Move. Moved. Push. Pushed. Awesome. Awesome. Ah. So, uh -huh. did you notice some similarities with these words? Yeah. You always um, finish the word and the word in uh, a common sound between them. Yeah. And what is that common sound? In walk. 
Yeah, the T sound. So the tendency of most Brazilians is to automatically see the ED and they want to say talk it, pick it, move it. I move it to the United States. But we just say the T sound. So you say the verb in its normal infinitive form and then add a T. So walked, talked, picked, moved, pushed. Okay? Okay. Okay. So I would say maybe 85% of the time when we're speaking in the past, you can just add a T sound. But there are some examples when we don't do that and we really add the extra id sound. Do you know when this happens, Alexia? No, I don't. Really. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, oh. <laughs> there is an entire section in sound school. <laughs> 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 but, okay. So, let me give you the example. Say decide in the past. Decided. Perfect. So, there you're adding the extra ed, right? Yes. Okay, say pretend in the past. Pretended. Perfect. So, let me give you the little hint, the little tip of the day, is the only time that you add the extra ed sound is when the word ends with a T or a D sound, okay? So, think about that for a second. Does that make sense? The only time you add the extra id, the thing that most Brazilians want to add to everything, the only time we say that is when the last sound of the verb is a T or a D. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, it is. It's super clear. Okay. So one thing that really needs to um, have some extra clarification is when I'm talking about pronunciation, I'm talking about the sounds. So, for example, in the word decide, the last letter is an E, right? Uh-huh. But if you say the sound, decide, d, 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 the last sound is a D. We don't pronounce the E at the end. So, so it's decided. Yeah, even though there's an E in the written form of the verb, in the written representation, we still add the extra id because the last sound is a D. Does that make sense? Yeah, so what are the, um, not rules, but a, the better way to think about it? The best way to think about it? So I think in general, Brazilians just see a word in the past and they get a little confused and they just say id, right? The most, if you don't want to study anything in the past, but you just want to go for the best percentage of times you will be correct, when in doubt, just add the T sound. So just take the normal verb and add a T. So instead of saying walk id, just say walked, right? Uh-huh. Moved, uh, pushed. So if you learned anything today, ladies and gentlemen, when in doubt, speaking in the past, just use the T sound. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, it makes it's really easy when you think about it. Yeah, yeah, it's not that it's not that difficult. Um, certainly, there are some exceptions and irregularities, but I think most people complicate the past um, a little too much. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, I think we have a very good podcast about the past <laughs> sound. I hope so. Okay, Alexia, I will see you soon. Later. Ooh, later. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of English Nui Kru Haju. If you like what we do, please check us out at EnglishNuiKru.com, EnglishNuiKru.com. There you can find everything you need, all of the episodes, transcripts, blog posts, articles, resources, and new courses that we are releasing this month. Thank you for your support. Most importantly, keep up the good fight and lose well. Até já já. Tchau.